guys, we are here in Wheeling, Illinois, where we are going to visit Warsham College, which is more Troy School here. So we're going to check out the campus, talk to some teachers, talk to some students, and give you an inside look on what goes on here and what makes this college different than the other mortuary schools. Let's go. Hi, my name is Lily McMurrow and I'm the Program Director at Warsham College of Mortuary Science. Um, I think that really what sets Warsham apart is the fact of our community. Um, when you come here, you really are family. Um, we are a large on-campus program, um, but we know every single student's name. We know where they want to go, um, and they build these relationships. The students build relationships that last a lifetime. Um, when we go to conventions, things like that, we have lines coming around our uh, booth and everything like that. Just alumni kind of coming back to say hello. Um, and I think that's really what makes us different is that we start from day one building that community. So our first week we do a bowling event where we mix the students up and we have free bowling and pizza, just kind of the times for our students to get to know each other. Um, and I think that's something that really sets us apart. Also I think our uh, clinical lab experience down at the uh, Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, um, our students get to go down to that lab and do all of their clinical lab embalmings um, while they are there. Um, we have great instructors down there. Jack Adams is one of our um, mm -hmm helpers that goes down there, one of our assistants, um, and also Sean Sweetman, who's actually now taking over for Jack Adams. Um, so they really have this great, um, you know, experience down there, um, in addition to our, you know, Ben Schmidt, who's been down there also. Um, just a great, wonderful experience. A lot of um, licensed funeral directors that have been in the field for a long time helping them with that, too. The thing that I enjoy most about Warsham is your individual care. Um, each, each classroom is set up. You normally have like around 30 kids in each classroom so you get a lot of hands-on with the professors and uh, your students and your classmates they're all here to do the same thing that you are. So it's not a university and it's all just you know you guys are interacting and these are the people you're gonna work with later in life so it's good to have that. My favorite thing about Warsham is that it's like a second home. Uh, before I came here I didn't know that there was a school just for mortuary science and everybody here has their own experience to bring to the table and they just want to see you grow and become the greatest professional that you can be. So your clinical lab experience actually starts the second half of your time here. So the first six months of your program are you just learn the fundamentals. We really kind of break down, you know, the, the foundation pieces. And then the second half of the program, you go down to the medical examiner's office every single week. Um, and you work on several different types of cases throughout your time there. Um, and you're also doing your restorative art, different things like that. We have the airbrush machine down there. We do the cosmetizing. We do all of that down there. In addition to the lab work that we also do um, in the classroom, too. One, they have to do at least 20 cases. In addition, we have kind of come up with our own set of competencies that we find that we really want a student to be able to master before we say that, yes, you've been able to complete this. Um, so each student does their own competencies on their own to make sure that they reach that level, um, that we can kind of certify that, yes, they have a minimum um, competency for embalming. So you have students that are housed in up to 30 different funeral homes. That's correct. What part do you think that connection to funeral homes plays in the whole picture of learning and testing in the end and everything? Well, I think it plays a lot uh, a, a strong role in that because we have the 30 funeral homes that house students throughout the Chicagoland area, and really they have a built-in mentor there, as the funeral director has usually gone through the Warsham College program, so they're very astute at kind of helping them navigate, you know, what the expectations are. Um, in addition, they usually have a roommate too, um, usually an upperclassman, who is currently six months ahead of them in the program, so they can also kind of talk to them about what the expectations are, managing those expectations. Um, I also think that, you know, being busy at the funeral home really helps them to manage their time and make sure that they are studying and you know building in the time for that. Um, also, I think you know just kind of understand what the business is about. Um, you know, you leave from school, you go to work, you have a visitation sometimes. Sometimes you might get a call in the middle of the night that you kind of understand that this business can really be 24/7 um, rather than just you know whenever you, it's comfortable for you to to make that happen. Right. Uh, my favorite thing about Worsham is that once you finally get here, which is something that took me a while, and you're so excited, and then you're like, oh, mind blown. This is actually a dream come true, and everybody is doing the same thing. You're with like-minded people, which is something I'd never experienced before at a previous college. Um, 
the staff is so welcoming, the other students, and you just really feel at home and like you're with family because you guys are all have the same light at the end of the tunnel. So you're working together and it's just, it's a wonderful experience. What I like most about Warsham is the community. Uh, working with people and going to school here with everyone that hopefully have become colleagues in the future and we can uh, rely on one another in the future. I think so. I mean, one of the things that we have a program here is uh, we call Dress for Success. So we actually have people come in. We actually separate the class into boys and girls. Um, and then the gentlemen kind of learn about tying ties. They learn about like putting a suit together for themselves and really how like best practices for dressing. We do the same thing for the females. Um, and we have actually people from Lord and Taylor, from Target. People come in from all different um, clothing, clothing uh, stores to help them to kind of look at it. It's not about spending a ton of money, but it's about, you know, how to dress for you to be professional. Um, all students also do a resume, which I know is probably standard across, but we actually then review it with them and make sure we make any types of changes, things like that. Um, we host lots of um, kind of in-person interviews also that we recommend that students take uh, part in. Um, we also partner up with the Catholic um, Diocese of Chicago and our students participate in a full Catholic funeral from start to finish. Um, we're one of the only schools that does something like that where we um, partner with um, different organizations. So we get the hearse out, the students dress in suits. We do a full service from start to finish um, and it's run actually by the Monsignor of the entire Catholic Diocese. We do the same thing with the Jewish funeral home and then we also have the military come out and the students get dressed We uh, in suits. We do the playing of taps, the folding of the flag, they all get kind of practice doing that with real in real time um, at outside while you're on, um, you know, at, kind of on a field trip. Um, we do a vault tour which I think is wonderful. Um, we also, mm -hmm. all students participate in the Cremation Association North America's COCP training, so everybody has that prior to graduation. We also have Lacey Robinson from NFDA come out and we everybody does the arranger training prior to graduation. We're really about, you know, what are the experience-based things that you can take with you? Um, but we do actually take you out to a cemetery and we do all of that because it's a great question. Um, and I'll tell you, a lot of the things that we kind of add in are things that I, when I got to school, I'd never been to a, a funeral before. I mean, it wasn't something that was, I grew up with it and I was really comfortable with. Um, I'd never been in a selection room. I mean, not all of that stuff was completely new to me. So I look at it from, yeah, we absolutely go back to the basics of, yes, how, how do you dig a grave? What does that even look like? Um, you know, what is a lowering device? Um, why do we need those things? And what does that look like? What are the expectations so that your first day out on your job is not the first day that you've seen it going, yeah. oh, I didn't know that. Because there's a big difference between what you read in a book, and that's so important. You have to have the book knowledge, um, but then you have to have the experience base to match up with that so that you have that connection between the two. Um, and that's something we work really hard, that if there's a place where we can see the overlap of those two things, we bring that in or we take you there. We make sure that you have that experience so you can kind of have those connections because people also learn differently that's the other thing you know not everybody is a book learner so mm -hmm. making sure that we are able to go out and experience I think also adds another level that you know it makes sense for you somewhere along the way and it kind of clicks and what I like best about Warsham is the at-home feeling that you get immediately when you step on the campus it's like it's like nothing you've experienced at another college and everyone's so willing to help and nice and it's really refreshing to be a part of a great school like this Grant Davis and my favorite thing about Worsham College is the family feel environment that you get while you enter uh, the doors here on campus. The relationships and the connections that you make with the faculty as well as the uh, fellow classmates that you have and the, fa and the administration, They're, they welcome you with open arms and they help you with everything that you have questions on and they're, they are not afraid to help with anything at all. So uh, making the decision of going to Worsham was one of the greatest investments that I ever had the pleasure of doing in my life. So. I think one of the other strengths of the college um, is the fact that you really have this great uh, faculty base. You have kind of the a lot of faculty members that have been here 30 plus years. Um, they are veterans in the field. They have been doing this for a lifetime. Um, your accounting teacher has not only a is not only a funeral director but also owns a cemetery so he has this great background that and he's also a CPA so he has kind of all of that and he's bringing that into the classroom um, of why does accounting matter but how does it matter to what you're actually doing so most all of your faculty here are licensed field directors have been in the field for a long time you also have kind of new hires myself included that are a little bit younger and are really open to you know what's next what's new how do we take what we've been doing for a really long time and transition it to the future and what does that look like and how does that um, you know what does the next generation of funeral service look like and that starts with education so I think we have a really nice balance between kind of you know the tradition of what we 
been doing and what we're successful at, but also with an eye to the future of what's next and how do we how do we embrace that and how do we get ahead of it so that we're the ones that really are educating the public about what we do and, and why it's so important in what we do.